Hi, my name is Mark Bridge with True Imagineers, and I'm here to talk to you about a couple of new products we've been involved with. Good, so first off, I'd like to talk about the Tree Motion. The original Tree Motion, dating back to 2006, which was when we first launched it, um, which has just stood the test of time really well. However, there was a number of things that we felt we'd like to try and evolve or revisit, um, out of which emerged the Tree Motion Evo. This is how the Evo is delivered. And I'd just like to take a moment to talk about the changes that have been implemented in this new design, this new revised design. The first and obvious thing to talk about is how has the bridge evolved um, in this new model of the tree motion. And the obvious thing there to talk about is the front hardware. Now, the front hardware on the original tree motion incorporated the two slits for the webbing to run through. We have the knot stopper or the, the, the point that the knot can stop up behind and the front D that you can attach into. We've retained all of that versatility on the new design, but the, the kidney shape or the space that you locate the carabiner into has become larger, which means, and the angle has changed, which means that it's offered up at a more natural angle, meaning it makes it easier to clip into. Um, and also we've added the um, various options on the, back, on the rear side of the hardware. So one of the requests we got from the get-go basically was people were asking about a possibility to add in a second bridge. Some people were tying in a second bridge over the top. Um, that is now something that is possible with the Evo. The way it's delivered, the ring runs on both bridges. So really this gives you a backed up rope bridge, whereas if something were to happen to one of the rope bridges, the other one would act as a backup. Of course, you can also run them, run them as two individual rope bridges, allowing you to tie into uh, one or the other or both, depending on what work positioning challenge you're trying to resolve. One of the things we always envisaged the tree motion as being is a future-proof platform that you can build on that can evolve over time um, in relation to your skills, but also into new tools that you're bringing in that you might want to incorporate into your climbing system. So in line with that, we have a range of bridges that you can work with in the future. We have the knotted double bridge. We have two individual colors, which makes it easy to differentiate the two bridges. Um, and the end user can tie in uh, the new bridges. We will require with a knot stopper that you run two bridges on this. So you can't have only one bridge as on the old tree motion. You need to run the two bridges. You have the possibility of using ditch bridges that come in different lengths. Or there's also with this bone element that you're also using for the stitch bridges that bolts onto the back. You could also use webbing bridges. So for companies, for instance, that are uneasy with the idea of their climbers tying bridges themselves, who prefer for their climbers to use standardized stitched eye tie slings or webbing bridges, there is that a possibility also. So really we're trying to expand the scope for um, philosophies of organizations, the way they want to implement their uh, safe work standards um, and giving people flexibility to customize um, and to get the most out of their equipment. So the other change you'll notice is we've got new hardware on here. We have the ANSI buckle on the ventral strap. We have the anodized hardware on the side. So it's anodized throughout um, and also the main buckle now has a safety where it can't be uh, released under load and also the recessed paddles making it less likely to get um, in contact with something and um, releasing it unintentionally. There's also a cover to go over the top to stop any sawdust falling in between the two parts of the buckle which might prevent um, an easy opening. There's always a sweet spot on these buckles, trying to find the sweet spot between ease of adjustability and in not sliding. 
and we're happy that with this we've found a good combination, a good compromise between the two. The other thing I'd like to talk about briefly is just to zoom in on this area here of the two knots. We have a number of things going on here. You'll notice the red stitch at the end here, which is to guarantee that enough line, enough rope is left sticking out of the knot. Um, it is to ensure that the mantle, the outside and the core of the line um, behave in a homogeneous fashion, that it doesn't slide or anything um, under load. And also there's the red stitch here. Now the red stitch um, is just a proof that the knot went out of the factory correctly tied. It's not saying don't open this. Um, it is just so that there's a proof um, that if the red thread is not there that uh, the user tie the knot themselves. So it's just a proof that the knot went out of the factory correctly tied but you are able to uh, retie this according to the manufacturer's recommendations. So one of the questions that people will ask is, you know, why am I paying 70 euros more for this than for the original tree motion? And the answer is, is that there's actually a lot of um, design that's gone into this and you're actually buying into a different package. There is the revised front hardware, they are bigger, so that means more material that's going into, this, into that, so there's higher production cost. There is also the elements that bolt onto the back, the knot stopper or the bone. There's also the second rope bridge. There's quite simply more hardware goes and more manufacturing goes into the harness than into the old harness. What's your benefit? Well, this platform, the front hardware, is future-proof. It can and will evolve over time and it can, you will be able to uh, adapt your harness over uh, the course of time um, according to your abilities and new equipment as it comes onto the market. So yes, you're buying to something future-proof. It will cost you more um, upfront cost, but it will, that will, um, you'll get a return on that over time.